What is going on guys, Doom here, bringing you guys another Pokemon Duel video. Today we're going to be hopping into the Orbiter Hall match, um, so that's pretty hype. That means the gym is coming probably tomorrow if it is the same as last, um, last gym events, Orbiter Hall. And um, yeah, we're going to hopefully um, be seeing Mega Sableye as I saw. Um, I think it will honestly be like perfect. It's Dark Ghost, it's going to be exactly um, gym themed. So I think seeing a Mega Sableye could definitely be... Um, possibility here we're gonna go hop into the room match now we are running a pretty powerful deck Gengar is gonna be everywhere in this gym if you have a Gengar you definitely should be using it in this gym it's gonna be 3 MP it's going to be pretty much a shop it on steroids and yeah I guess we'll just click on to get a stool started we already did two duels so we got um 10 of the Carmenite that you can possibly get um gym is it lets you do anything so it doesn't really matter you don't have like a deck qualification but we are running a um, pretty fast deck, I guess. Um, we gotta watch out for the bronzers. We got two 3 MP Pokemon, which is gonna be probably not too much compared to a lot of other people's. And sorry for the text messages, guys. A lot of people are messaging me right now. But um, we got the Gengar, right? We got a Max Arrive, Gold Block, X Speed, and a Double Chance. Pretty standard plates. X Speed, I wanted to try it out in the gym, so that should be nice to try out. We do got a Zapdos as a gold attacker. Um, that's why I kind of did it because Zapdos is our only gold attacker, but anyways, let's go ahead and play the match here This guy's probably wondering what I'm doing um, We got Brizian for the cheese then we got Trevenant um, Umbreon and um, Who's our other sleeping guy and uh, Malamar for the sleep potential and uh, Umbreon for the toxic potential that's just gonna help Gengar out um, It can just move over to the people especially with 3 MP. It's gonna be super easy to pick up those kills and this guy's got an interesting deck. Now, Sableye is going to be really annoying in this gym. Because that thing's already hard, hard enough to kill as is. And this guy's got a Sableye, a Giratina, a uh, Phantom, Eveltal, Absol, and he's got a Pangaro too. So, um, definitely an interesting deck. Ooh, yeah, we don't want um. You know, we're going to start off defensive here. Actually, no. Oh, this thing's going to be really annoying to kill. This thing is going to be very, very annoying to kill. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. I, I, hopefully this thing can move through opponents. Because it's a ghost type. I'm assuming it can. Wow, he didn't even start off. That's very interesting. Um, we're going to go ahead and see what he's got there. So we're going to go ahead and put Gengar right there. Um, he's probably taking our entry point that or this turn. And that's fine. And we're just going to go right onto our goal if he does. Um... If Trevenant hits Manipulative versus it, it's going to put it to sleep, so that's nice. Um, I guess we'll just put Umbreon here. We might as well just put it up against it, to be honest, because he can go through me anyways. It's not really going to change the fact if I'm one, one close to it or if I'm too close to it. He's going to set his Pangaro defensively up that way. Um, we're going to go ahead and put our Rizion right there. And hopefully he'll move his Absol up, then we can advance Rizion left. Oh, this is not what he's gonna do. Okay, so does he have two-star purple? Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and attack. If I hit um, Grass Knot into a physical, that's gonna kind of suck. Ooh, that kind of sucks. Well, it wasn't a physical at least, but Air Song is going to go off on three. It's gonna go off on the Sableye and the. Uh... Oh yeah, forgot about you. I'm definitely gonna have to get used to the three MP on uh, Pokemon here. He's likely, you know what, I'm gonna probably, yeah, he's gonna go over there. That's fine, we're gonna go ahead and put Malamar right here. Let's put him here because if he tries to go right beside and set up the surround kill. And honestly, next turn, what we could do, actually no, we can't because he has Pangoro sitting there. Um, I guess we'll just put Zapdos right here. Because he, the Velto does get the plus 20 damage, so Zapdos could t potentially die to it. So that's unfortunate, but um, he's going to just go right there. Um, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and... Um, I guess we'll do this. Actually, no. Sableye's 3. He can just easily... Oh, okay. Let's just attack this guy again, I think. Uh, he's going to get dodge versus Typhoon Slash, so it's going to be a neutral turn. Uh, no big deal there. He's going to grab my entry points. And he's going to attack Zapdos. That is risky, my friend. He's going to get Draining Wind anyway. So he actually got pretty lucky there. 
And he's going to Draining Wind my Trevenant off the goal. And we're just going to put Trevenant right back on there. Don't want Sable to get anywhere near our goal. Um, one, two, three. Phantom needs to move over that way. He's going to attack again. This is really risky on his part. He he did he had to pay, it paid off for him, but um, there was a pretty good chance that he was going to hit um, purple into my yellow there, or gold. Not sure what you guys want to call it, but um, this is actually going to be a very tricky gym, I think. I think I might need to start running some more cheeky stuff instead of some Metamons. Like, I don't think I need Brizzy in that bad. I might just run... Actually, I don't even have a Sable yet, which is kind of unfortunate. But, um... Actually, that could give us a chance to Typhoon Slash now. Um, he can't surround me next turn, so... He has to put something on the goal and just hope that he doesn't get Typhoon Slash. At this point, it's probably Pangoras his best bet. Yeah, I agree with that play. Um... Now, we could be potentially losing our Brizzy on here, but if he hits um, if he hits a physical move, then we have a good chance of just winning the game. So, let's see what's going to happen right here. And there's the hammer on. If we can hit our Tycoon Slash right now, we win the game. And that's going to be the game. So, this is, this is why I do carry um, Brizzy in here. It's easy cheese wins. Um, they're only three minute matches, so they're pretty short. Um, we'll probably hop into one more, maybe. And then we'll call it a day for that. Because I don't want to make my videos too too long, but I also don't want them to be like five minutes either, because Pokemon Duel is kind of a game where you kinda of just want to sit down and watch people play. And Carmonite, that is gonna be the last of the Carmonite that we're gonna get from the Orbiter Hall. So we'll gladly take that. And we can just hop again right into the next one. Now, what I mean, like Sableye is already good as like a Pokemon, so if he does get a Mega in this gym. Like, it's going to be insanely powerful, I think, because he's going to get both buffs. And Sableye is already hard enough to kill, so I can't imagine how hard, like, Mega Sableye would be. Because if you guys play, like, Pokemon games, um, the mainstream games, Mega Sableye is just a pest to try to kill it because it's so bulky. Um, yeah, we're going to hop into another game. See who we can face. Um, actually a very similar team. Very, very similar. I think it might be the exact same team, actually. Did we rematch? We might have just rematched. I think I rematched that guy. I don't have to go back and look. Interesting. Yeah, it is the exact same guy. So we're going to actually play this guy twice in one video. So we're going to see if he can beat me the second time around. He is a 2800 player. Um, right now I'm sitting at 35, 28, which is pretty good. I want to try and push to... Um, I do want to try and push to at least... I want to say 3.7k by the end of the month. I haven't got to 3.7k. I've gotten close to 3.6, but that's about it. He's going to get a Confuse Ray. That kind of sucks. Um, but he's probably not going to want... Am I running a gold block? No, I'm not. Well, actually, I am. Uh, we're going to have to gold block. That was kind of dumb. But he could go through me anyway, so it didn't really matter. He was just playing more aggressively there. Um, if he decides to put Sableye out there, we're going to just put Zapdos out and hopefully pick up a kill on it. He is going to do that. Um, he actually put it right there, which is kind of a mistake. Because now I can go ahead and double chance Zapdos and hopefully pick up a kill. Um, I land the Thunder Crash, I kill this thing no matter what. So we're going to make sure I do, because if not, he's putting a lot of pressure on our entry points. And that is going to be a Steel Wing. Now please, please Zapdos, come on. Thank you, my food. My dude. I don't know what I said there. I said my food, I think. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, probably next turn, he's probably going to send out his Giratina. Or maybe as a Veltal, if he plays like he did last time. Okay, no, he's going to send out his Pangaro. That's another risky matchup. I noticed that Dark types have a lot of purple moves. Same with um, Ghost types. Um, we're going to go ahead and just put our Gengar right there. Now, if he doesn't put his, or put something defensively right there. Okay, yeah, see, that was a mistake, my dude. That was a mistake. Um, if he has a goal block, or see if this guy's got a goal block, he does not. So, this is going to be pretty much game if I live the next hit with my Mega Gengar, which I should be able to unless I miss, because there's no purple attacks, or purple attacks that can take out my Mega Gengar. So, pretty much, I have to miss here, because he doesn't have a long throw. 
He doesn't have really anything that can prevent him from, or prevent me from going on to his goal, so he literally needs me to kill, or me, he needs to kill some of my, like one of my Pokemon. Mega Gengar, obviously, but I guess we're going to see what's going to happen here. He pretty much just needs me to miss. He's going to double chance his Pangaro, and I guess that's fair. And he's actually going to miss, and I'm going to land the 140, so I think that's game. I don't think there's anything that he can land. Yeah, Parting Shot is not going to do anything for him. You can switch out one of his Pokemon, but... Ooh, Parting Shot actually... Negative one. Oh, okay. If he hits three Parting Shots, then... I guess he could do that. But he needs me to wait until I am done Mega Evolving to even have a chance, because then he can move his Absol back on if I'm not Mega Evolved. He's gonna double chance again. If he hits Parting Shot um, two more times, actually, that's gonna be game, because it's gonna be neutral no matter what. Or he's gonna get Toxic, so yeah, that's, that's gonna be game. Ice Punch. That thing is Ice Punch? I didn't even know that. He could've froze me, too. He definitely could've froze me, although I could've just moved Zapdos up and then just unfroze him, and then I would've been in the exact same position. So that's gonna be a good game. And this is gonna, definitely going to be an interesting gym. There's going to be lots of different strategies, I think. Um, I think Zapdos is going to be crucial because there's so many purple attackers. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow in the gym. So, yeah. Peace out.